Um, disproportionation reactions. Well, um, it says that it's a reaction in which the same species, so any of these are species, chlorine, water, hydrochloric acid, or presumably hydrogen chlorate, um, it is oxidized and reduced. How can anything be oxidized and reduced? Do we imagine anything else? Like we, oops, um, let's imagine like um, iron plus oxygen, the standard example would go to um, iron oxide. Well, it's it, the iron has lost electrons, so it's been oxidized. How can it, and if it's reduced, maybe it's somehow gone back the other way, but how can it be both? The only way this could possibly happen is if this chlorine here, let's use the highlighter, um, is in two of the products. In the case of going from this to this, it has been reduced. Whereas if it went from this to this, it has been oxidized. So this is the only way you can ever have a disproportionation reaction is if it's being is if the thing that is being oxidized and reduced has um, been split into two different products. And in one case, it's been oxidized and in one case, it's been reduced. OK, that's the crux. That's the main thing about disproportionation reaction, which we need to realize they're in two different products. You couldn't have it otherwise, because if it went from one uh, reactant to one product, then it's either been oxidized or reduced. It couldn't be both. It wouldn't make any it wouldn't be possible. OK.